Parker, Cletus' brother. And if you haven't heard by now, Danger Ranger 9000. You're going down at the Freedom Factory. There's going to be 40 Ford Rangers racing around that 3A Solval. I'm going to be going over with you guys my spicy unit, the rules and regulations of how you can get yourself entered with your own Ford Ranger because this is going to be the first race at the Freedom Factory open to the public. Not only that, you can watch it on pay-per-view, you can come watch it in person, or you can tag along with one of your buddies that are entering their own car. Like I said, there's going to be 30 of them. Not only that, spectator drags. If you've never seen spectator drags, look it up on YouTube because that is some good racing right there. People bringing out their daily drivers. It's going down at the Freedom Factory. I'm going to be telling you guys all about the rules and regulations on how you can get entered into this race and giving you a tour of what I believe is the number one vehicle from the Danger Ranger 9000 2021. <laughs> I'm over at Cooper's, borrowing his trailer to go pick up the Ranger, and Bowser the tortoise is under here. Come on, buddy. We need you to move so we can get the trailer out of here. What a guy. Working with turtles isn't the fastest of processes. Uh, it takes a little time sometimes. You gotta be patient with them. <laughs> Gonna have to come a little bit further. Come on it. Huge. Look how big it is compared to my foot. Your guys just help help me come up with a name for this Ranger because uh, this thing's gonna be pretty special to me. It's gonna be look really nice on the podium in first place, and so I want to get some really good pictures with it with the trophy because um, you know it's a beautiful vehicle. Luckily, I had a little bit of insider information before he single-handedly raised prices on all Ford Rangers across the nation because that's just what that guy does. So check this thing out. It is a 94 4.0 liter, the biggest motor that came in, the Ford Ranger. I got it with, oh, apparently this outside door handle doesn't work, with a five-speed transmission. I mean, what could be better for racing? Three-ace oval track, five speed with the biggest motor made from factory because there are no engine modifications allowed in this race from the intake manifold to the exhaust manifold no performance adders are allowed that being said anything after the exhaust manifold cutting the exhaust off is allowed 4.0 liter now don't let this intake fool you because this is literally ducting from a washer dryer so call it performance call it what you want the oem one is pretty expensive so i'm probably going to stick with this okay the story behind this truck is this guy out of the middle of florida bought it for his son who was just turning 16 so he went through the whole thing you know got it put a new trans in it new clutch assembly and went through all the brakes even though that is on my list of things to do because we're leaking a lot of brake fluid no key necessary. Just push in the clutch and go. Come on now. Come on. Exhaust is already cut off. Looks like the tires locked up a little bit when I stand on the brakes, but, and the ABS light is on. That's the only light that's on in this thing, which, Hey, it's all right. We don't need ABS where we're going. One thing there is no rule on is the tires. Now, wheels, that's a different story. You got to have steel wheels. Thanks, George. Roll the clip. And Indy Cletus and Cars, he had aluminum wheels, sent it to the moon, into the crowd. It was a little dangerous. So we're sticking with steel wheels only. Tires, now that is up to you to figure out. All the body panels must remain on the truck except for the tailgate. So if you want a little bit of that aerodynamic adder, pop the tailgate off. I think on Mythbusters though, a long time ago, they tested that. And I think it was actually the net that ended up performing the best, but that's for you to figure out. Going around the vehicle, must all remain stock except the interior which must be modified for safety 
a four point roll cage. A four point roll cage must be installed with a hoop over the driver and a door bar. A going on to safety must have a helmet and a neck brace, okay? So pretty simple to do, but it, you've got, let's see, right now it's middle of June, you got two months to pull this off. Moving on to some more of the rules here. I'm gonna put these in the description so that you can read through them. Stock Ford Ranger, no push bars on the front or the rear of the vehicle. Suspension component modifications are not allowed. So no, nobody's showing up with coilovers on your on your Ford Ranger because there are guys I would think that would be a good, I think, good idea to do, but you can tweak the stock suspension if you can find some kind of tweaking to do on these to make it faster on a 3A Solville. Now, how much are you gonna be able to do to be competitive out there with these things? They are rippers, but probably not much. Moving on, engine transmission must be stock, non-modified intake, two exhaust manifold must be stock, no power adders, no superchargers, no turbos, no nitrous, nothing like that. We wanna keep an even playing field. However, strategize like I did, find yourself one with a bigger motor, there's inline fours and there's V6s. Nobody can show up with an LS swapped Ranger. That's not gonna be allowed. Ye, the fuel pump has to be gas only, no race fuel, no bigger injectors or anything like that. Four point roll bar. The roll bar has to go with a hoop over the driver and it has to have a door bar. So I'm talking four points, one, two, three, four, hoop over the driver. And then you have to have a door bar from here down. Helmet and neck restraint, so like a Hans device, is required. Window net, required. No tire restrictions, but you must have steel wheels. So figure out your tires and wheel combo, make sure it's up to spec, and uh, you know, pick the right one for it. It's an asphalt oval track. Driver must be 18 years or older. No passengers are allowed in the vehicle during the race. Spotters are not permitted. A race receiver is required and will be furnished. Roll cage with driver bar required. Steel wheels only, no hubcaps. Must retain all body panels, but you can take the tailgate off for better aerodynamics if you think that's going to help you. I think I'm just gonna send it on this stock unit because us Mitchells, we were born with ethanol in our blood. Antifreeze, prohibited. Switch it out with some water. It's, it's gonna be August in Florida. Nothing's gonna freeze. Your block's not gonna crack. Um, starting grid will be randomly organized. There's gonna be no qualifying. You're just gonna have to stick with the spot that you pull, and that's what it is. Car numbers must be on the sides of the vehicle and on the roof, and the numbers must be pre-approved. That way we don't have more than one car with the same number. So, Ranger Danger is going on August 14th. Now, also the same night is gonna be spectator drags, which is probably one of the most epic things to watch on YouTube because people are going full send with their daily drivers. It is so worth a watch and so entertaining because they let two cars out on the track at a time. They do one to two laps and then that's it. First one across the finish line moves on to the next round. The other person is completely knocked out. There's no loser's bracket. It's all for the send with for the winner, for the one winner that's gonna that's gonna place. Okay, now look it up. It's pretty entertaining. But usually, people with like four-wheel drive SDIs or Evos do pretty well. All right, guys. So that goes over the rules for the Ranger Danger. Find yourself one of these units and join in. It's gonna be the first event at the Freedom Factory where the public is allowed to enter and race. If you can't find a vehicle or make it out to the event, make sure you guys tune in. It's gonna be pay-per-viewed. Follow along on these journeys with all these drivers because it's gonna be an epic race.